It's hard to imagine life with no electricity because electricity secures our basic needs. When the power goes out, lives are put at risk. Just one of the many reasons to secure an endless source. The future of energy is clean, renewable, and resilient, which will free us from big energy dependency, ensure life saving communications after a devastating hurricane, protect conservation efforts that save endangered wildlife and shape healthier, stronger futures for communities around the world that need help. And with new technology today, there's even more that we can do now for those who need it most. The next evolution is what are the most important end uses for human beings that need electricity? And we believe the number one is water. So how do we do something different and how do we provide a clean water source for them? In 2018, the Give Power Foundation built their first ever large scale solar water farm. Each water farm produces clean drinking water for up to 35,000 people every single day. And that switch goes on, or that water turns on, it just brings life. You know, it brings hope. Once we switched on the power, we, we saw like how people reacted with the power. We saw the smile on their face, you know. It is scalable. It is sustainable. It is the right thing that we need to do right now. Solar is future. Solar is education. Solar is powerful. Solar is life. Nature is amazing and wise. It is a constant reminder of what is important in life and how through its pureness we can achieve wellness. Today, we live in a more conscious society where we recognize the importance of nourishing our bodies and protecting our natural environment. Having a healthy lifestyle, taking care of our planet, and going natural are the core principles that embody the essence of this project's mission. My name is Nasser Ekleo, and I am the founder of Free Tower. After two years of significant research and development efforts, we created a unique way for making an all-natural fruit drink that is good to our bodies and friendly to the environment. And so, through the perfect mix of real fruit and all-natural cane sugar, Free Tower was born. Recognizing plastic bottles are one of the most polluting factors in our environment today, we knew our product had to be different. Through our pouch and spherical packaging options, our fruit bombs, better known as towel bombs, deliver an all-natural drink with at least 60% less plastic than a regular bottle. Among all the soft drinks out there, Fritawa is a truly natural alternative that gives a break to our world and nurtures our bodies. We keep it simple, healthy, and eco-friendly. Just drop one of our towel bombs in 16 ounces of water, stir or shake for 30 seconds and enjoy. No preservatives, no GMOs, no artificial ingredients. None of the bad stuff and lots of the good stuff. Our available resources have taken us so far and now we need your help and support to unleash the towel to the world masses. With your help, not only would you receive one of our amazing towel sample packages for you to enjoy, but also a gratifying feeling of knowing you have become part of the movement 
for reducing pollution from plastic bottles. Because we know you care. Go natural. Go bottleless. Go Fritawa. Hi, I'm Samir, and I have a problem. You know how when you stay at a hotel and they give you those pre-wrapped soap bars? You know how you use them a couple of times and then they just get thrown away? I collect those. See, a lot of people assume that gently used soap is just trash. I sure used to. Hey! You can't film in here! But it's like how the saying goes, one person's trash is another's treasure. Security! Roger that. This is Project EcoSo. Me and my nonprofit EcoSo Bank need your help to create the world's most responsible soap. Let me explain. Turns out a lot of people around the world don't have access to soap for hand washing. And every year worldwide, 1.6 million people die because of unsafe water, poor sanitation, and lack of hygiene. So I decided to do something about it. In 2015, I founded Eco Soap Bank. We're a nonprofit organization that collects used soap bars from hotels in developing countries around the world. Kind of like this. Look, Mommy. What? Who are you? We run all the soap we collect through a three-stage, lab-certified sanitization process. Then we recycle it into brand new bars and give it to children in schools, hospitals, and villages that desperately need it. And all that collecting and recycling, we hire women who are struggling to make ends meet to do it by giving them steady jobs at good wages. We also collect other stuff from hotels, like linens! We've recycled more than 250,000 pounds of soap from hotels, employing 147 women and providing more than 1.1 million people with clean, life-saving soap. So, I mentioned I had a problem. My problem isn't that I collect soap. Yes, it is. My problem is that I need your help to save more lives. You spoke and we listened. Due to popular demand, we're developing a retail soap product to offer for sale right here in the US. Cannonball! Project Eco Soap is zero waste from production to use. We're preventing an existing product from entering landfills, and we're using rescued hotel linens and other upcycled materials as packaging. And this is some serious soap. We've done our homework. These are long-lasting bars with long-lasting scents for a clean like no other. But most importantly, for every bar we sell, we're able to give 100 bars to children and families in need. And as a nonprofit, we invest 100% of your purchase back into the organization to do exponentially more good for people and the planet. Project EcoSoap is about achieving the best of both worlds, providing an awesome soap product that American consumers will love, while also putting life-saving soap into the hands of those who need it most. Support Project EcoSoap. And take global hygiene into your own hands. This is a seed. Inside is a natural intelligence that can help us fight the climate crisis. With soil, this seed will turn into a carbon-eating machine called a tree. Each tree can absorb over a ton of carbon in its lifetime. But with so much carbon being released today, we need trees now more than ever. So every forest is like a living, breathing carbon storage system. More carbon locked in forests means less CO2 in the atmosphere. I'm Lot Amoros, and I would like to show you how the technology could help 
Mother Nature Fight the Climate Crisis. For the last five years, we have been building tools for large-scale, low-cost reforestation. We started with a drone. After many designs and some crashes, the latest version can distribute half a million seats per flight. can show trees on autopilot. And soon, we'll use algorithms to select the best locations to make every seed a winner. The hardware and software are open source, so with a bit of know-how, you can download our designs for free and make it yourself. We designed this to be the most replicable, inexpensive drone of its kind. But even very clever drones can't make forest on their own. Remember the seed? It needs some help too. If we coat each seed with a special mix of nutrients, it protects the seed from wildlife, temperatures and dryness, dramatically improving seed establishment. Building on existing technologies, we have found ways to create thousands of seed balls in minutes. Now, we have developed a seed computer for analyzing what nutrients work better for each seed. With these three open source technologies, we can empower everyone with the knowledge and tools to start reforestation around the world, capturing carbon from the atmosphere right now. Hi, my name is Tristan from COACT. At COACT, we help projects like Drone Coria develop tools to fight climate change. Now Drone Coria need to raise 12,000 euros to finish developing and sharing these tools. Every euro beyond this amount will help Drone Coria reforest 30,000 trees here in Catalonia, Spain. If we pass this goal, we can scale the technology worldwide. Choice for Life is a not-for-profit organization. The drone seeding system would be a way to make our precious seed go further. Vemos que o Brasil tem imensas áreas e com esse drone queremos trabalhar a questão do reflorestamento. So if we could get a drone that will tremendously help us. Through illegal logging, many forests in Kenya have tremendously diminished. We wish to use this technology to empower communities to restore forests. Help us build a common public platform for reforestation technology by supporting Drone Korea today. Thank you. Over 90%, nearly all marine plastics are smaller than a grain of rice. They're called microplastics. The Manta Trawl is the scientific standard for looking for plastics in the surface of water. And altogether, it costs about 3,500 US dollars. Baby legs cost about $20. Uh, she's made with baby tights and uh, soda pop bottles and a plumber's clamp. At Public Lab, we're always looking for simple, elegant designs for kits that address environmental issues. The point of Baby Legs is that people who are affected by plastics, people who are interested in plastics, can carry out scientific research themselves. Plastics absorb oily chemicals. So if you've ever had something like spaghetti or curry and you can't get the orange color out of your Tupperware, that's what plastics do. Chemicals like pesticides, like flame retardants, like heavy metals, like methyl mercury. And the concern from a scientific and community perspective is that when those plastics move into food webs, when they get ingested by fish and birds, then they accumulate through the food web and affect both animals and people who eat them. At Public Lab, we're excited to team up on this project together. Public Lab works with folks around the world to use DIY approaches to measuring environmental problems that affect people. Our model of community science places the needs and interests of local communities at the center of collaborative open source work. In getting a Baby Legs kit, you'll build your own troll and join a growing network dedicated to mutual support on the Public Lab website. Sign up for a Baby Legs kit and join the community science movement.